Pioneer is making all the prices of modern and legacy cards just fluctuate all over the place right now. I don't know where the, they're going to land right now. We're looking at and legacy underground C is down 15%. Same as Tyga, so a lot of dual lands are going down. Um, mostly dual lands from the looks of it. Jenun Freet as well went down 22%. Yeah, a lot of these prices are just going, they're just fluctuating like crazy. Um, Pioneer, the format is officially launched now. And uh, at the, my local game store, there was a lot of people playing it when I was there. And I was surprised to see the numbers that it actually attracted. Here's the thing that my issue is still with Pioneer. And I know you guys can go back and see my video on uh, Don't Buy Into the Hype of Pioneer. And I still stand by that. I don't think... Because it's such a new format, and again, what could happen? They ban both the Nisa right away. <laughs> like, there's a few other bannings as well. Like, they're the fact that they didn't announce them right at the beginning is kind of annoying. Like, because I don't know, it's a bit it's a bit shady because a lot of those cards, I saw them as clearly going to be banned. I didn't talk about it before. I talked about the Felidar Guardian combo. Like, how is that not going to get banned? Right. So we're looking at cards that had ban written all over it. And yet they have to wait till it's officially launched to be like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll ban that. And just enough time that they can kind of inflate the prices of these cards and start offloading them. Like, hush, 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 let's get rid of some of these cards now. Now that we've made the money back on these clearly unplayable cards because they're just too OP, uh, then we'll ban it. So still keep an eye out for that. Uh, there's... Prices are all going all over the place again, like uh, for Modern especially as well. That's another format that's being hit right now. We're looking at, uh, like look at the Season Pyromancer right now, went down 12%, but even Mox Opal and Liliana, 5%, I know it's not too crazy. Um, the Cabin of Souls as well, 4%, because again, these cards were not printed from uh, Return to Ravnica forward, so they are being hit heavenly. But if you look at even Pioneer winners, uh, which there was a lot. Some of these cards are going up like 33%. I actually just offloaded my... Uh, I just offloaded my Siege Rhinos recently because I saw them spike and I had a good... Uh, a good what was it? 14? So it was like three playsets in a bit. So I offloaded all my 14 because I just... I didn't really want to play them in Pioneer. I didn't know if I want to build a deck in Pioneer yet, so... I know that they're not really seeing much play in Legacy or any other format, so I thought it was probably a good time to do so. Uh, so that's what I would say right now is just look at these prices and just kind of offload the things that doesn't really make any sense to you if you're not going to be playing Pioneer. You know, like like Nisa, Voice of Zendikar is going up now, Python Needle as well, Sphinx's Revelation. I actually have a few of those in my sideboard, my uh, modern blue eye control deck. That's gone up. Um, Jace, again, that one I think it's one of the most over time. Uh, Jace is uh, Vryn's Prodigy. So, Kalatis, Trader of Get, that one has also been going up. Obviously, from Oath of the Gatewatch. So, the best thing about Pioneer is not the singles. I would say offload them as soon as you can when these prices start to go through the roof. But,. It's really good for sealed product. You know, we're talking command, you know, challenger decks, even like intro decks, event decks. Those potentially could go up in value because they they hold a lot of cards from these these uh, this era forward, right? So, for sealed product, I think Binary is a great format. Also, you know, to offload some singles here and there, like even like some of the prices, like Walking Ballista right now, it's up to almost twenty two dollars. So if you have that challenger deck, that just keep that sealed or open it and try to sell singles if you want, but I think the sealed product for some of these decks are going to go up because uh, they're harder and harder to find now. And then even, yeah, Sinks' Revelation, like it's, yeah, it's crazy, like $8 right now for Sphinx's Revelation. I remember when this Mythic was all the way down to like $1.50, $2, and that was pretty common for a while. So yeah, these prices are all over the place. Uh, keep an eye out. Um, I'll obviously look out for the bannings. Stay aware and uh, remember some of the cards that are going up, uh, it might be better to offload them as soon as you can. We don't know the longevity of this format. It is, it's definitely backed by Wizards, which is, which is a positive. 
which maybe gives me a bit of hope. But again, like I still think modern is the main format for uh, competitive magic. And uh, yeah, so again, just keep an eye out and uh, be careful.